Mm. B. Ooh. It's your boy Nico Man, and he back with some more videos, uh. Okay. Uh, da, da. Bet y'all wanna hear me rap, uh. Bet y'all wanna hear me rap, uh. Bet y'all wanna hear me rap. But, y'all didn't pay for nothing, so. <laughs> I might not give you that. But I bet y'all wanna hear me rap, uh. Yeah. So we back into that business Battlefield 4 I promised y'all the gameplay with the M4 So here it is And what better way play Oh, what better place to play with it Than the uh, new map that's just launched this week uh, The Dragon's Teeth DLC just launched And my goodness, I gotta say this These maps are quite intensive They're quite heavy I was chatting with a few guys on the, on the chat screen when I've just finished this gameplay um, a lot of them were c complaining that you know man they're dropping frame rates and I got like two 770s connected on SLI and I experienced the same thing um, my frames would drop I don't know if it was probably because I was recording at the same time and playing on some heavy you know detailed maps or just the fact that you know these maps really are big and have a lot of detail that your graphics card really has to you know Run a, run a marathon or a sprint to cover up and to make you you know just to make it look better just to make make it look smooth 60 frames per second no jittering no glitching I don't know I don't know what I'm talking about but anyway we back with some gameplay it's your boy Nico Matt and um, somebody just shot me from the left side so I'm kind of interrogating sorry not interrogating but like looking around who's that but when I looked at the video playback, this guy was actually at the top where you see that billboard was. And I think one of my teammates just kind of caught up to him. And I arrived at that party late. That guy already got taken out and these guys are like blocking me. And the door of this car blocks me from going that way. So I have to go through this alley. Somebody's spamming. Got the first engineer over there. With my M4, with my sweet M4. So, you know, picking this, picking angles on me sometimes is not the best thing. I don't do it the best sometimes because sometimes I just rush into corners not expecting somebody to be there and a lot of times I die like that. I have lost some good KDs because of just running into corners. So I'm trying to teach myself to, you know, even if you think that there's no one around, always just approach corners very cautiously and just you know expect there to be someone at any angle so here I'm checking my left before I peek the right um, here we go seems like there's no one and then I get caught I get caught um, looking at one side too long because I don't know where the enemy are coming from so this guy comes from behind me and I, minimap says there's some in front so I, yeah there's that guy over there I get one bullet on him and then I get whacked on the, from the left side. So really, this map is hard for me because it's new. I don't know the game flow of it. This TDM, I've played the Conquest and the Conquest is kind of nice. It's not that big, but man, this comp map is quite, it's complicated. It has a lot of levels. You can go upstairs, you can go downstairs. You can, there are so many ways you can get somewhere. So that means there's so many ways that the enemy can surround you. Um, which, which gets dope sometimes when you're with a squad you can defend you know you just tell him or you have some people watching your back like somebody who should have been over there I didn't see that dude I just, just creeped up and got a lucky shot 18 health left he got lucky anyway he got done and that's the end of that round I joined it late at least we won though my KD I know it's not going to be that great Right. So yeah, man. Battlefield 4. Drag Dragons? Dragon's Teeth? Yeah, that's what it's called. The DLC just launched a couple of maps, a couple of guns. And I think um the max cap for experience now is 130. It used to be 120. So that means I got more work. I'm on 103 right now, I think. Yeah, 103, you can see that. So 5-3, not too bad, 794 points. 
not too bad. I like playing engineer sometimes because it's like the most selfish clash there is because you're not, I'm not providing ammo, I'm not providing health, I'm not providing anything for my team. So it's me, myself, and I. <laughs> but I need other the other teammates to, you know, help me out, drop an um, ammo box or, you know, health box. So the thing about BO4, they, they always try to get you to depend on each other. But you can do well on yourself if you're if you're good. You know, kill somebody if they're if they're uh, what's they called? Defending assaults. You grab their pack, and yeah, you grab their pack, and then you drop the ammo pack. I'm oh, sorry, that the what's it called? Jeez, I'm stumbling on my words. You drop the health pack, heal up, and then grab your pack up back again, and then you can you know run off some more people. If you run out of ammo, just look for some support guys, kill them, or maybe your team. Somebody got somebody died, who's a support player, and then finish them up. So these dudes, they come up over here, not thinking that I could be on the left side. And I take him down easy, except that sniper. Put a bit of a fight, but he had a pistol on. So maybe if he had like his sniper on, I would have been dead. Cause I don't put on the defensive perk. So if he gets like one shot on my chest, I'm gone. And this guy just rushes me. I didn't see him coming. Man, okay. So yeah, man, I'm enjoying these maps. They're quite good, especially this map I'm playing on. I think I haven't played on this map as much, maybe just three times now. Um, it's quite good, I'll be honest. Um, on the right side of where I'm running up from, um, it kind of, a lot of people on YouTube are saying that it's like Bell Battlefield Bad Company 2. You know, it kind of throws you back because of the look. Yeah, Bad Company 2 had a lot of maps where it was snow, and most of, the, you know, Bad Company 2 was known for most of the buildings being able to, actually, I think that's not most of the buildings, all of the buildings could be broken down, like absolute destruction. So that part of the map, which I am facing away, or this part now, the one I'm looking forward to, yeah, that part, you can be absolutely destroyed. All the buildings over there can be floored, of course except the really tall one at the back or you know the one surrounding those are out of bounds and you can't break you can't break that down so the frostbite engine is not that strong or it just hasn't enabled us to take down all the buildings but you can see that guy on the mortars man man i hate mortars man so he's he's all all the way Starting to put build, put buildings down. I get two noobs over there I'm not watching how they're running. They're just running into a place And pretty much almost I did almost the same thing almost died to a bunch of grenades People lobbing grenades This guy, I don't know how he killed me. I think it's The way when you shoot at your teammate if an enemy is behind your teammate your bullets are not gonna get to him because teammate I mean team kill is not allowed so your bullets don't pass through your teammate so my bullets probably were on target but they were hitting my teammate and weren't going through but when he shoots we're both his enemy so um, the bullets get to penetrate I don't, I don't know that's just my concept I've died like that a lot of times so I'm actually pretty I'm almost 100% sure that that's what happens so I try using the left side maybe go for a flank go for another back rage like the last video but man I'm a successful and I mean it's a big place it's not just an alleyway so you have to really watch your corners like I was saying man I need to tr I need to train myself approaching these corners or going over you know large areas where there's no cover and stuff and that mortar dude getting to work man I hate mortars he's trying to break down every building get us all on a level playing ground and then just have the snipers you know have a ball up you know just pick your you know i don't know i don't even know what to say i mean when you level everything it, it becomes such an easy game for snipers because everybody is no one has cover you, you, like you spawn and you're immediately in the scope of enough of another sniper so it's 
It's hectic, man. So my teammates aren't doing a very good job of holding up back the the enemy team. But this guy happens to revive me, so I try getting down before I get owned. But this dude too quick gets me the second time, so Kill Feed says he's got me three times now. I haven't got him a single time. So this match really wasn't shaping up that well. I was kind of struggling in the beginning of the match, but I think it gets to, you know, look, it gets, the, the, the match improves when um, <laughs> the time goes a bit. Cause here, man, I'm just getting mowed over. Every, every, every lane that I'm trying to peek on, somebody's, there's an LMG who's bipoded himself down and he's just, mowing people down this guy just passes in front of me i was ads at the moment so i could the sensitivity is different i couldn't turn around as fast as i would i could if i would i was on hip fire so yeah some more dudes mow me down and he's crawling all the way here and i'm thinking hide 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 somebody's blocking the door i'm thinking oh my gosh my team man so i just decided you know take it to the back heal a bit, wait for, you know, my health to go back up, and then, you know, let's, let's go slowly, let's go, let's take this professionally, let's not rush into anything, you know, creep into my corners, at least I get one kill now, and I'm eyeing me second dude, third dude, and I miss all of them, <laughs> somebody would say that Battlefield 4 is the only game that awards you for missing targets, <laughs> Like all the other games, you don't, you probably don't get suppression assist or something. Like but it kind of does help when you're, especially when you're a support, when you got like an ammo pack, you, you have like loads of ammo to waste. You can just drop down an ammo pack and, you know, just put down as many bullets in range as possible. It's quite helpful for your team and it, because the other person who you're shooting at, your screens blurs out. Even if you're not hitting him, even if your bullets are not accurate, his screen blurs out and his accuracy is, you know, it goes down because there's something in the game, it's called like, I think, I don't, I don't remember very well, but it's kind of like a visual, um, it's just something that takes away your crosshair from where your target is. It kind of goes on a, like a number eight, it draws a number eight on the screen where you're, your, your crosshair is just swinging across the screen up, down, up, down, up, down, and cr left, right, like a number eight, basically. So it makes it really hard sometimes for you to hit your target if you're being suppressed. That's what happens when you're suppressing. So yeah, it really makes you not see things that well because it blurs out. So you're not seeing enemies on, on your peripheral vision that well. You can only just see in front of you better than you know okay you can only see in front of you okay <laughs> i'll say okay because it's not the best kind of view but yeah i guess that's what happens and yeah i was really mad with that uh mortar dude i think he's the one who killed me so i was like and you know what i'm gonna switch over i'm gonna get this mortar and i'm gonna get this dude back but then when i get switched on over to support i see the mortar guy he was kind of cool down he stopped so i'm like I, if if he's not there anymore, that's not my kind of gameplay. I'm not gonna play that. I I, I like being upfront and candid with we you know with people. That's what that's the whole point of playing a first person shooter. It's not a first mortar game. It's not yeah. It's not a first person mortar. It's not a first person grenade. It's not a first person RPG. It's a first person shooter. Yeah. All those guys were like spamming, you know, mortars and grenades and all this kind of stuff. I mean, I'm not hating on it. I'm not hating on it. It's just annoying when you keep doing it every time. I mean, you can do something else. The game is supposed to be about shooting. When they include all these other stuff, it's extras, not the main thing. That's why it's not your main, it's not your primary, you know, um, weapon. It's not your primary weapon. So, I don't know why people just camp at the back of the of the map just spamming mortars and rpgs and crazy i'm, I'm an engineer i don't spam in uh, rpgs i only kill people with rpgs when they're in vehicles or when they kill me with an with an rpg that thing is really frustrating 
so the building here drops on me and my my body gets it just flies away so it shows that the frostbite engine isn't all the way fixed isn't all the way patched isn't all the way you know doing very well but i like it it's doing okay right now it's not 100 percent like i said but it's okay the game is playable i'm loving it as you can see this is a 62 player um map i think yeah we got like 32 players on each side so you can see a lot of players still like this game and a lot of players still play it so we win easy game you can see me at the bottom there i didn't even catch my kd I'll bring it up a second time i think it was eight seven so again not really a good match but it will get better with the next match i think we go on over to a different map maybe that was one of my favorite ones if you play it on conquest it's kind of nice it's decent so 9-7 that's not too bad but nowadays i try to push myself to get that 2kd and when i get that 2kd i'm gonna push myself next to 4kd not just 3kd so yeah you always gotta be looking out for to improve your gameplay improve your ugh, did i say improve <laughs> improve your gameplay improve your tactics everything that you do on the on the battlefield you gotta be able to improve it where else everybody else is gonna be able to read you uh -huh. as I take as a sip on some water here my, my mouth getting dry I'm talking too much I realized that I talked too much on <laughs> on the first video I finished all the topics that I wanted to talk about on a, on a span of different videos now I got nothing to talk about it's just the gameplay that's actually here which reminds me one of these days I'll try doing a live gameplay as you know this is kind of pre after I've recorded my commentary after the gameplay um, basically because of the noise and probably you can still hear some noise in the background but it's worse when I'm gaming because my my keyboard is the cherry MX blue I'm not sure if you say MX but it's the blue cherry and you know the blue ones they make a lot of clicky noises so yeah you'll make a lot of clicky noises when I'm playing a game but I'm not sure that's something that will deter you I was just watching out for the quality of the video quality of the sound had to be nice so map this map is one of the other new ones Levolution just sparked I don't know who sparked it probably some enemy dudes I think yeah the enemy is like up on this bridge that's why I can't see it shows them on the minimap, but I can't see them. I tried getting this dude, couldn't clap him. The recoil on this gun is a bit too hectic on in range, but when it like middle range to like this dude, I can get. But like when it gets longer range, the recoil it's a bit harder to to manage. Even when you put that folding grip to manage that recoil, it still gets a bit hectic. It bounces too much to the up, you know, up and right so could be sometimes it's easy sometimes it's hard i don't know sometimes i don't know sometimes i play well with it sometimes i don't it's like i forget the pattern for controlling the recoil when it's pretty much the same gun anyway like i said i've been playing a lot with this gun um but recently a lot recently i tried um going back to assault the assault class and like you know trying to rediscover the assault rifles and i've tried playing around with the aug or the aug as other people say it i like calling it aug because it looks like it's a, an abbreviation of augmented or something so yeah aug try playing with it 700 rounds per minute it's pretty accurate but man 700 rounds is kind of low as i noticed i thought i thought 700 was kind of okay because the lowest ones are kind of like around 600 or 650 i think the lowest gun on battlefield probably has like 600 the lowest automatic you know kind of gun not not the semi-automatic ones like sniper rifles i mean not snipers but like dmrs and other stuff but like automatic ones i think the slowest is six 650 rounds per minute so the AUG is 700 so I thought that was pretty fair it's not a beast but should be able to take people down 
and its accuracy was its selling point. I think that's why I wanted to pick that gun. And really, basically, I like the way that AUG looks. So maybe I'm gonna give you some gameplay on uh, the AUG. But when I was playing on it, you know, I'm, I was getting taken down by a lot of people who were using like guns that fire a lot faster. I would get the drop on a lot of folks, but they would still kill me. Like I would run a corner, see somebody before him, and I would just, you know, fractionally earlier than them, I would start shooting. You know, like a fraction of a second, I would start shooting before them, but they would be able to kill me because their gun, the gun, you know, dishes out more ammo fast, faster than mine does. So they will get the kill, and I'll just be there regretting that I had a better gun. So yeah, I kind of switched it off, went back to the M416. And that gun is great. That gun is quite reliable. It's good in range. It's good in short range, middle range, any kind of range. It's kind of fair. It's, I think it's the most versatile kind of gun. And this dude, I just see him camping. I'm like, yeah, boy, give me them tags. <laughs> Knife a dude to his throat. I like the the animations of being knife. Sorry, that was my phone going off. I'm being spammed here. Ken's like spamming me with text. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I like the animations of knifing in Battlefield 3 and 4. 3 weren't that good, but 4 they kind of made them more fancy. Um, so yeah. Not just knifing, not just like your, your, your person just slashing in the air. He actually, you know, puts his dagger into the enemy. Not to say that I'm kind of... I love like death and stuff. <laughs> it's just a game. Anyway, so let me not um, kill the mood of the gameplay. I get myself in a really good position. And my team didn't notice. I run out of ammo, and I run back, and I find my team is still down, is still back here, and I'm really disappointed. But I'm looking for ammo, um, so I spot some at the back here, and I go pick up some. I try reload all the way up, not just a few. So yeah, I get back up and I try running back to my position to see if the enemy is still there. Cause I mean, I got, I had like a really good position, but the enemy were kind of starting to surround me. They were in front of me or at the side. So I had too many side, too many animals where I were exposed. I would get taken out too easy, especially if snipers were looking straight at me. You'd be, you know, just, I would be like, I had a shooting range for them. So here I picked the wrong gun, I was trying to get the RPG. Uh, somebody fired the RPG this way, so I was thinking, you know what, tit for tat. It didn't get anyone, so it's just like, like saying, you know what, just basically sending a message, you know, you throw an RPG, I'm gonna throw an RPG too. So I see guys on that other side, so I decide to dive deep into the water. But this guy swimming in front of me, ain't got no fear about them. So I decide, you know what, maybe if he's up, I'm gonna go up too. So we here. See a couple of enemies on a mini map, but I can't quite see them. And a sniper shows up all the way there. I gotta hide. He missed his bullet. You can hear it. I mean, that's cracking. Is it cracking or snapping or clapping kind of kind of sound where the sniper bullet just missed? And this dude creeped behind us. He had in a he's he was suppressed, so we couldn't see him on a mini map. No chance we could know he was he was there unless maybe our enemy uh, or team would have spotted him but yeah I get taken down with some teammates um, a noob sniper trying to come through I'm thinking it couldn't just be one person oh sniper over there but I'm glad he missed scoping over there I see another one's looking right my way and another person just throws a grenade so it's getting hectic but the match is about to end so I'm just thinking stay alive 35 health, I need to recuperate, I need to get back some health. I try shooting at this dude, but somebody steals my kill. And I think this is where the match dies. I'm just waiting for it to end. Forget my final kill. And that's it. It's been your boy Nickel Man. Let's just see on that KD. And then I'm out.